Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and you're welcome. My name is Zoe, but most people know me on here on Instagram as ZA Reptiles. And today is going to be kind of like a part two to my UVB video I made back in like 2019. So in 2019, I made a video all about what is UVB, why is it important, how do our reptiles use it, what are good and bad sources of UVB. So today, we're going to be taking it a step further and we're going to be talking about this little gadget here and we're actually going to be testing out my UVBs and we're going to talk a little bit about what UVI is and Ferguson zones. So I might have touched on UVI in the first video, I think I did, um, but we're going to talk about it again in this video. I'll link that first UVB video in the description below. I did watch it back already because it was a little while ago and you know, as the years go on, you continue to learn things, especially in the reptile hobby. So I wanted to make sure that everything I said I still agree with, and I do. Um, there's a couple things that I might change my opinion on depending on what we find today during our little test. So we'll talk at the end. But what I have in my hand here is something I think every reptile keeper should have. And I believe it's something that like everyone wants when they find out it exists but they're super pricey, so not a lot of people want to spend the money on it. I'm very fortunate that I work at a nature center with a boss who will go for anything that means the lives of our animals are being improved. So when I mentioned it to her, she w went ahead and ordered it, and that is one of these fun little doohickeys called a solar meter. So this is what it looks like, and essentially what a solar meter is, is it's like a temperature gun but for UVB so super super awesome super handy super nifty but kind of pricey so I will put the Amazon link to this one that we got in the description below this is the one that I said everyone recommend in like the Facebook groups and everything because there's a couple different options so I want to make sure we got the best one and this is the one that everyone said to get so I'll link this in the description below if you guys want to check it out and get one for yourselves Okay, so how do you use a solar meter? We'll start there and then we'll kind of go into the informational part. So the solar meter measures your UVI or your UV index. So you press this little button, a number pops up, and that is your UVI. So your UVI or UV index is how much UVB is being put off by your source, your UVB source, whether it's your light, the sun, whatever's putting off UVB, it's how much, essentially, is there. Um, and then that UVI is divided into zones. So earlier I mentioned the Ferguson zone. So Ferguson zones were created by a guy named Dr. Gary Ferguson and essentially what he did was he divided the reptiles into four zones and these are your Ferguson zones. And these four zones are divided by the animal's UVI requirements. So zone one being the animals that need little to no UVB, um, they're mostly shade dwellers. Zone two are ones that are like mostly like partially sun, kind of shady kind of sun. Zone three is mostly full sun, so these are ones that spend most of their time in the sun, as you can imagine by what I said. And zone four are your midday baskers, which means they're out under the sun during like the hottest part of the day basically your sun worshippers. So they're the ones that need like, the highest UVB output. This is kind of an aspect of reptile keeping that you don't hear about often. And when you're researching to first get an animal, nobody really tells you learn the Ferguson zone of your animals. So I'm telling you, if you're looking to get a new animal, or even the animals you have now, do a little research and find out what their Ferguson zone is, because then you'll learn their UVI range. If you're bringing your animals outside to get some UVB, um, you know, you have an iguana and it's a nice day and you want to take them outside to get some natural UVB, you can, or maybe you live in a warm state where you can keep your animals outside. You can actually look online to see what the UVI is for your area that day um, and then compare it to your animals. So that's what I would do for Arcadius when I take him out in the summer. I know his UVI range and I check to see what the UVI is for the day here where I live. And I can just compare the two and kind of get an idea of what he's getting for UVB when I bring him outside. So now that we've learned a little bit about what UVI is and the Ferguson zones, let's look at this a little bit closer before we go use it. So we already established that when you press the button, a number pops up. On the top here, there's this little color chart. 
and this tells you the UV index range. So you can see the Ferguson zones here, one, two, three, four, and the UV index. So one, two, three, four, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. So that kind of shows you where each of those numbers falls into like what ranges or what zones. And I just realized this actually um, because the solar meter actually comes in its manual with a guide. So this guide has your zones. Um, some animals do fall in between zones, so like zone two and three, zone three and four. Um, and then the middle column has some examples of animals in those zones. And then the third column has the UVI range for you to refer to. What I actually just realized, because I'm talking to you guys with this in front of my face and I can see the back, those ranges are actually right on the back of your solar meter so you don't have to have the manual on you you can just look on the back here because at work when I was going around checking the turtles I carried this around with me so I could see what the ranges were for each of the zones when they're on the back of the solar meter so how nifty all right so now's the moment of truth we're gonna go around the room and we're gonna test out my animals so I'm really curious to see you know if my animals aren't getting the UVB they need I'm totally just going to be exposing myself right here, um, right in front of you guys, but it'll be a good learning tool. Um, you know, we'll see if things are on or if they're off, um, how I can change things to make sure the animals are getting the UVI or the UVB they need. Um, I'm curious to see how mega rays compare. Um, so for those that don't know, a mega ray is a mercury vapor bulb, which means it puts off heat and UVB. Highly recommended by the iguana community, but also, as I've noticed over the past year or so, um, very disliked by some people. I've used Arcadia, or not Arcadia, oh my gosh, mega ray. I've used mega ray for Arcadia's my iguana forever, and that's what I use for Muppet my tegu. And I've used it for tansy, crikey, um, a lot of my lizards I've used mega rays for before. Now they all have Arcadia, except for Muppet and Arcadia, because with their setups, it's just a lot more convenient to have the Mega Rays. So it'll be interesting to see how those are. Um, they both do have brand new bulbs in. Um, Muppets actually blew out the other day, and Arcadia was due for a new one anyway. So they actually have new Mega Rays. So it'll be interesting to see how they read and if they actually are accurate. Um, and then it'll be good because I get to see where they read while they're brand new and I'll be able to compare it over time because they're supposed to last a year. So we're going to be tracking this. You bet. I'm going to be tracking this. I'm going to be tracking these mega rays to see how long they last. They truly last a year. Because if I don't have to change bulbs out at six months, that's going to save me some money. <laughs> so to prep for this video, I already went ahead and I wrote down the zones of all of my animals so I can just compare right away. So Arcadius my iguana is a zone 3 animal, so green iguanas fall under zone 3. So zone 3 is a UVI max of 3.0 to 7.0, so there's a very big gradient there that he can fall under. So I'm going to grab the camera and we're going to go around the room and we're going to check everyone starting with Arcadius. So here he is hanging out under his UVB and we want 3.0 to 7.0, so I'm going to put it right where he's basking. 3.3, 3.4, put it up where his head is, 3.5, 3.4, 3.5, 3.6, I put it up here where he sits sometimes, we've got, can I avoid the glare, 6.0, 4.0, 5.0, so his is spot on, so Mega Ray is good at this moment in time, so where he is right now, it's kind of like the low end of the spectrum. If he moves up to his branch, it's the high end of the spectrum. So there's a good gradient there, a good change. Um, actually, actually, I wonder how it spans. So if I come over here where he lays down, we've still got a little bit of UVB over here. We've still got a little bit over here, down here at his bed. We've got a little bit down here. So there's a good, good UVB gradient. You know, the Megra actually spans pretty well. All right, so Arcadius is good. Okay, so next up is Tansy, my bearded dragon. Bearded dragons are a zone three and four animals, so right between. So for zone three to four, we're gonna look at the sheet. 
because the solar meter doesn't tell you the in-betweens. So three and four, we're going for 2.9 to 7.4. So we got 3.2, 3.1, 3.5. I have to remember that she's not this tall. She's actually a little taller. So I have to hold it up a little bit higher. So 3.5, 3.7, 3.6. So on the low end of the spectrum, but still within her range. Back here, 3.0. So even on her ledge back here, she's still getting a good amount of UVB. So it's good to know the Arcadia bulbs these linear ones, they have like a pyramid. Um, they don't just shoot straight down, it's kind of like a pyramid. So what I'm gonna do, 3.7, oh right there's 3.7. So what I'll do to give her better access to her UVB is I'm actually gonna rise up her basking area and make some of this higher so that she's closer to her UVB. Because right now, it is just low enough that she's on the low end. So I raise this up, she'll be within range better. So I'm not really certain what zone Crikey, my drill to sort of falls in. There's not a lot of information on them as there is, let alone something as specific as that. But I'm going to guess he's a zone 3 animal. So we're going to aim for 2.9 to 7.4. So the good news is, even though I don't really know what zone he's in, it's such a wide range that he should be good wherever. Like, he's got lots of options. So 2.9 to 7.4. So hi there, Crikey. Hi. All right, so I go put it over here because he has an Arcadia as well. If I go put it over here, we've got 4.5, 4.8, 5.2. So we're well within range and we're not on the low end. We're not on the high end. We're kind of right in the middle. Here we move a little bit toward the low end. So there's good range, good gradient. So we're good. He comes and sits in his plant. We've got 4.9, 5.0. So under his basking spot specifically, we've got 4.3, 4.2. So we are golden. Okay, so up next, I'll do my Euromastix Chalupa. And she's a zone four animal, which is the highest. So loves the sun, loves the hot. So we want a 4.5 to 8.0, so really high. So I'm a little nervous about this one. So this is her basking spot. I put it at her level, we've got 3.2, 3.3, 3.4. So good for a zone three and four, not really for zone four. So what if I come back here on her ledges? Three, seven, four, four. So it's definitely higher back here on her ledges where she does hang out. So she does have access to a higher um, UVI area. But just like Kansi, what I think I need to do is I need to raise up this area over here to give her access to be higher and closer to her UVB. So we're very close. We're not like bad, we're close. So I'm definitely going to build this up um, to give her a higher area to climb to get closer to that UVB. So not bad, but not perfect. And we want perfect. Okay, so now we're doing my corn snake. And she is a zone one, so it doesn't technically need UVB, but I provided it anyway. So she only needs zero to 0.7. So it should be very, very easy to achieve. So if I can get this open, actually it'd probably be easier if I opened it on this side since the UVB is on this side anyway. Okay. So here's her basking area. She has a Arcadia as well. And I'm very curious about this because it does have a cover on it to protect the bulb and the fixture from her. Um, so I'm very curious to see because it does block out UVB. So it'll be interesting to see where it ends up. So right under her basking spot, we've got a 1.1. The hard part is she's not going to be that tall when she's basking. So I'm trying to lower it down a little bit. 0.8. 1.4 so we're good you know I would measure up here even up here it's not that high it's still only 1.7 1.5 2.6 and she doesn't come out and climb very much during the day um, she's mostly hidden I think right now she's behind this piece of wood um, but she comes out and climbs all this at night during the day she's very low on the ground but even so it's not that high it's pretty spot-on for her pretty perfect 
Okay, so the fat tails are a zone two animal. So we look at our solar meter. We want one to three. So this is another hard one because I can't get it down at their level because it's bigger than they are. But we got, I don't want to read it too high. So I can bury it a little bit. I have to like angle it a little bit. 2.4, 2.2. Because they'll never be that high and close to it. So even at this height, so even standing up all the way, I'm at 3.0. So just underneath it would be perfect. So fat tails are good. Okay, now we've got my Colombian rainbow boa. And just like Phoenix, she has an Arcadia with a cover on it. And she, if I look at my sticky note, she is a zone two animal, just like the fat tails. We want one to three. If I go back underneath it, we've got 3.1, 3.2, 2.5, 2.2, 2.3, 2.4, 2.5, 2.6, 2.7, 2.8, 2.9, 2.10, 2.11, 2.12, 2.13, 2.14, 2.15, 2.16, 2.17, 2.18, 2.19, 2.20, 2.21, 2.22, 2.23, 2.24, 2.25, 2.26, 2.27, 2.28, 2.29, 2.30, 2.31, 2.32, 2.33, 2.34, 2.35, 2.36, 2.37, 2.38, 2.39, 2.40, 2.41, 2.42, 2.43, 2.44, 2.45, 2.46, 2.47, 2.48, 2.49, 2.50, 2.51, 2.52, 2.53, 2.54, 2.55, 2.56, 2.57, 2.58, 2.59, 2.60, 2.61, 2.62, 2.63, 2.64, 2.65, 2.66, 2.67, 2.68, 2.69, 2.70, 2.71, 2.72, 2.73, 2.74, 2.75, 2.76, 2.77, 2.78, 2.79, 2.80, 2.81, 2.82, 2.83, 2.84, 2.85, 2.86, 2.87, 2.88, 2.89, 2.90, 2.91, 2.92, 2.93, 2.94, 2.95, 2.96, 2.97, 2.98, 2.99, 2.10, 2.11, 2.12, 2.13, 2.14, 2.15, 2.16, 2.17, 2.18, 2.19, 2.20, 2.21, 2.22, 2.23, 2.24, 2.25, 2.26, 2.27, 2.28, 2.29, 2.30, 2.31, 2.32, 2.33, 2.34, 2.35, 2.36, 2.37, 2.38, 2.39, 2.40, 2.41, 2.42, 2.43, 2.44, 2.45, 2.46, 2.47, 2.48, 2.49, 2.50, 2.51, 2.52, 2.53, 2.54, 2.55, 2.56, 2.57, 2.58, 2.59, 2.00, 2.01, 2.02, 2.03, 2.04, 2.05, 2.06, 2.07, 2.08, 2.09, 2.10, 2.11, 2.12, 2.13, 2.14, 2.15, 2.16, 2.17, 2.18, 2.19, 2.20, 2.21, 2.22, 2.23, 2.24, 2.25, 2.26, 2.27, 2.28, 2.29, 2.30, 2.31, 2.32, 2.33, 2.34, 2.35, 2.36, 2.37, 2.38, 2.39, 2.40, 2.41, 2.42, 2.43, 2.44, 2.45, 2.46, 2.47, 2.48, 2.49, 2.50, 2.51, 2.52, 2.53, 2.54, 2.55, 2.56, 2.57, 2.58, 2.59, 2.00, 2.01, 2.02, 2.03, 2.04, 2.05, 2.06, 2.07, 2.08, 2.09, 2.10, 2.11, 2.12, 2.13, 2.14, 2.15, 2.16, 2.17, 2.18, 2.19, 2.20, 2.21, 2.22, 2.23, 2.24, 2.25, 2.26, 2.27, 2.28, 2.29, 2.30, 2.31, 2.32, 2.33, 2.34, 2.35, 2.36, 2.37, 2.38, 2.39, 2.40, 2.41, 2.42, 2.43, 2.44, 2.45, 2.46, 2.47, 2.48, 2.49, 2.50, 2.51, 2.52, 2.53, 2.54, 2.55, 2.56, 2.57, 2.58, 2.59, 2.00, 2.01, 2.02, 2.03, 2.04, 2.05, 2.06, 2.07, 2.08, 2.09, 2.10, 2.11, 2.12, 2.13, 2.14, 2.15, 2.16, 2.17, 2.18, 2.19, 2.20, 2.21, 2.22, 2.23, 2.24, 2.25, 2.26, 2.27, 2.28, 2.29, 2.30, 2.31, 2.32, 2.33, 2.34, 2.35, 2.36, 2.37, 2.38, 2.39, 2.40, 2.41, 2.42, 2.43, 2.44, 2.45, 2.46, 2.47, 2.48, 2.49, 2.50, 2.51, 2.52, 2.53, 2.54, 2.55, 2.56, 2.57, 2.58, 2.59, 2.00, 2.01, 2.02, 2.03, 2.04, 2.05, 2.06, 2.07, 2.08, 2.09, 2.10, 2.11, 2.12, 2.13, 2.14, 2.15, 2.16, 2.17, 2.18, 2.19, 2.20, 2.21, 2.22, 2.23, 2.24, 2.25, 2.26, 2.27, 2.28, 2.29, 2.30, 2.31, 2.32, 2.33, 2.34, 2.35, 2.36, 2.37, 2.38, 2.39, 2.40, 2.41, 2.42, 2.43, 2.44, 2.45, 2.46, 2.47, 2.48, 2.49, 2.50, 2.51, 2.52, 2.53, 2.54, 2.55, 2.56, 2.57, 2.58, 2.59, 2.00, 2.01, 2.02, 2.03, 2.04, 2.05, 2.06, 2.07, 2.08, 2.09, 2.10, 2.11, 2.12, 2.13, 2.14, 2.15, 2.16, 2.17, 2.18, 2.19, 2.20, 2.21, 2.22, 2.23, 2.24, 2.25, 2.26, 2.27, 2.28, 2.29, 2.30, 2.31, 2.32, 2.33, 2.34, 2.35, 2.36, 2.37, 2.38, 2.39, 2.40, 2.41, 2.42, 2.43, 2.44, 2.45, 2.46, 2.47, 2.48, 2.49, 2.50, 2.51, 2.52, 2.53, 2.54, 2.55, 2.56, 2.57, 2.58, 2.59, 2.00, 2.01, 2.02, 2.03, 2.04, 2.05, 2.06, 2.07, 2.08, 2.09, 2.10, 2.11, 2.12, 2.13, 2.14, 2.15, 2.16, 2.17, 2.18, 2.19, 2.20, 2.21, 2.22, 2.23, 2.24, 2.25, 2.26, 2.27, 2.28, 2.29, 2.30, 2.31, 2.32, 2.33, 2.34, 2.35, 2.36, 2.37, 2.38, 2.39, 2.40, 2.41, 2.42, 2.43, 2.44, 2.45, 2.46, 2.57, 2.58, 2.59, 2.00, 2.01, 2.02, 2.03, 2.04, 2.05, 2.06, 2.07, 2.08, 2.09, 2.10, 2.11, 2.12, 2.13, 2.14, 2.15, 2.16, 2.17, 2.18, 2.19, 2.20, 2.21, 2.22, 2.23, 2.24, 2.25, 2.26, 2.27, 2.28, 2.29, 2.30, 2.31, 2.32, 2.33, 2.34, 2.35, 2.36, 2.37, 2.38, 2.39, 2.40, 2.41, 2.42, 2.43, 2.44, 2.45, 2.46, 2.47, 2.48, 2.49, 2.50, 2.51, 2.52, 2.53, 2.54, 2.55, 2.56, 2.57, 2.58, 2.59, 2.00, 2.01, 2.02, 2.03, 2.04, 2.05, 2.06, 2.07, 2.08, 2.09, 2.10, 2.11, 2.12, 2.13, 2.14, 2.15, 2.16, 2.17, 2.18, 2.19, 2.20, 2.21, 2.22, 2.23, 2.24, 2.25, 2.26, 2.27, 2.28, 2.29, 2.30, 2.31, 2.32, 2.33, 2.34, 2.35, 2.36, 2.37, 2.38, 2.39, 2.40, 2.41, 2.42, 2.43, 2.44, 2.45, 2.46, 2.57, 2.58, 2.59, 2.00, 2.01, 2.02, 2.03, 2.04, 2.05, 2.06, 2.07, 2.08, 2.09, 2.10, 2.11, 2.12, 2.13, 2.14, 2.15, 2.16, 2.17, 2.18, 2.19, 2.20, 2.21, 2.22, 2.23, 2.24, 2.25, 2.26, 2.27, 2.28, 2.29, 2.30, 2.31, 2.32, 2.33, 2.34, 2.35, 2.36, 2.37, 2.38, 2.39, 2.40, 2.41, 2.42, 2.43, 2.44, 2.45, 2.46, 2.47, 2.48, 2.49, 2.50, 2.51, 2.52, 2.53, 2.54, 2.55, 2.56, 2.57, 2.58, 2.59, 2.00, 2.01, 2.02, 2.03, 2.04, 2.05, 2.06, 2.07, 2.08, 2.09, 2.10, 2.11, 2.12, 2.13, 2.14, 2.15, 2.16, 2.17, 2.18, 2.19, 2.20, 2.21, 2.22, 2.23, 2.24, 2.25, 2.26, 2.27, 2.28, 2.29, 2.30, 2.31, 2.32, 2.33, 2.34, 2.35, 2.36, 2.37, 2.38, 2.39, 2.40, 2.41, 2.42, 2.43, 2.44, 2.45, 2.46, 2.57, 2.58, 2.59, 2.00, 2.01, 2.02, 2.03, 2.04, 2.05, 2.06, 2.07, 2.08, 2.09, 2.10, 2.11, 2.12, 2.13, 2.14, 2.15, 2.16, 2.17, 2.18, 2.19, 2.20, 2.21, 2.22, 2.23, 2.24, 2.25, 2.26, 2.27, 2.28, 2.29, 2.30, 2.31, 2.32, 2.33, 2.34, 2.35, 2.36, 2.37, 2.38, 2.39, 2.40, 2.41, 2.42, 2.43, 2.44, 2.45, 2.46, 2.47, 2.48, 2.49, 2.50, 2.51, 2.52, 2.53, 2.54, 2.55, 2.56, 2.57, 2.58, 2.59, 2.00, 2.01, 2.02, 2.03, 2.04, 2.05, 2.06, 2.07, 2.08, 2.09, 2.10, 2.11, 2.12, 2.13, 2.14, 2.15, 2.16, 2.17, 2.18, 2.19, 2.20, 2.21, 2.22, 2.23, 2.24, 2.25, 2.26, 2.27, 2.28, 2.29, 2.30, 2.31, 2.32, 2.33, 2.34, 2.35, 2.36, 2.37, 2.38, 2.39, 2.40, 2.41, 2.42, 2.43, 2.44, 2.45, 2.46, 2.57, 2.58, 2.59, 2.00, 2.01, 2.02, 2.03, 2.04, 2.05, 2.06, 2.07, 2.08, 2.09, 2.10, 2.11, 2.12, 2.13, 2.14, 2.15, 2.16, 2.17, 2.18, 2.19, 2.20, 2.21, 2.22, 2.23, 2.24, 2.25, 2.26, 2.27, 2.28, 2.29, 2.30, 2.31, 2.32, 2.33, 2.34, 2.35, 2.36, 2.37, 2.38, 2.39, 2.40, 2.41, 2.42, 2.43, 2.44, 2.45, 2.46, 2.47, 2.48, 2.49, 2.50, 2.51, 2.52, 2.53, 2.54, 2.55, 2.56, 2.57, 2.58, 2.59, 2.00, 2.01, 2.02, 2.03, 2.04, 2.05, 2.06, 2.07, 2.08, 2.09, 2.10, 2.11, 2.12, 2.13, 2.14, 2.15, 2.16, 2.17, 2.18, 2.19, 2.20, 2.21, 2.22, 2.23, 2.24, 2.25, 2.26, 2.27, 2.28, 2.29, 2.30, 2.31, 2.32, 2.33, 2.34, 2.35, 2.36, 2.37, 2.38, 2.39, 2.40, 2.41, 2.42, 2.43, 2.44, 2.45, 2.46, 2.47, 2.48, 2.49, 2.50, 2.51, 2.52, 2.53, 2.54, 2.55, 2.56, 2.57, 2.58, 2.59, 2.00, 2.01, 2.02, 2.03, 2.04, 2.05, 2.06, 2.07, 2.08, 2.09, 2.10, 2.11, 2.12, 2.13, 2.14, 2.15, 2.16, 2.17, 2.18, 2.19, 2.20, 2.21, 2.22, 2.23, 2.24, 2.25, 2.26, 2.27
the UVB he needs. So that is good to know. I will do that as soon as I'm done filming. And last but not least is Muppet with her brand new fancy schmancy Megaray. And Tegu's are And Tegu's are his own three animal. Where did I just put the solar meter? Zone three, we want three to seven. So under the new UVB, we've got 4.8, 4.4, 3.2, 3 3.0. So we are spot on, perfect, four, five, perfect. Okay, so as you can see, pretty much all of my animals fell within their ranges or had the opportunity to fall within their ranges. I just have to move some things around in a couple enclosures like my Peter Dragon, my Euromastix, um, Water Dragon, I just have to switch the heat lamp and the UVB around, but I'm pretty impressed. So to recoup or recap, is that the word recap, recoup? Why is this so bright? So to recap, all of my Arcadias were pretty spot on. So I highly recommend Arcadia. Arcadia is very specific. There's lots of options. It can be confusing to figure out what you need. If you go to Arcadia's website, they actually have a lighting guide where you type in your species and it gives you your options based on the distance your animal will be from the light. So highly recommend checking that out and going with Arcadia's because they were all spot on for my animals. I used my light, the lighting guide to pick the UVBs that I got for my animals and they were like spot on. I just have to adjust a couple things in a couple enclosures but the rest of them were spot on. Makery I was very curious about because it's so highly recommended by the iguana community. I've seen so many people like bash them lately so I wanted to see for myself how they compare. Brand new out of the box. They're great. Both of them their temperatures are perfect. Their UVBs are within range, so it'll be interesting to kind of monitor and watch it now that I have a solar meter to see how it changes over time. So I'll definitely keep you guys updated with that. Um, and then to conclude, I still stand by my statement that compact UVBs are garbage. I said this in my All About UVB video under what bulbs not to use, and I got some hate for it. But now that I have a solar meter to back me up, I stand by my statement that they are garbage. So pretty much all of our turtles at the nature center have compact UVBs. And when I went around testing them all, they all read 0 to 0.1, which is hardly even under the zone 1 category. That's like enough for a crested gecko, not turtles that sit around basking all day. So I have switched all of the nature center turtles off of compact to Arcadia's. Um, three of the turtles were already switched over and their UVBs were spot on perfect, which just kind of solidified my idea to switch everybody over to Arcadia's and just completely get rid of compact UVBs. I'm kind of rushing now because I am running late for the rank. Um, so last thing I'm gonna say is one of the turtles that did have a linear had a T8 Reptisun. Um, and it was reading zero. And he's very short distance from that bulb. Granted, there is a screen in between, but it's still red zero. I've never used a T5 Reptisun, so I can't give you any comparison on how that works. Um, but if you have a T5 Reptisun, I would be interested to know if you have a solar meter, if you get a solar meter, what your readings end up being. If they're spot on, if they're way off. I'd be very interested and curious to know what you get for a reading. So again, the link for the solar meter will be down below. If you guys have any questions, you know, just let me know. Um, I'll link Arcadia's lighting guide as well. Um, so you guys can check out all of that. And as always, thank you guys for watching. I'll see you for the next video. Bye.